How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Niche. Here I am with Anako, and, and this is still my first set of uh, animals or whatever, which is like astounding to me. I can't believe that I haven't fucked up enough that I've completely wiped out this species. And this guy's young. He's a young, virile, strapping, young, uh, fucking snaggletooth, half-blind <laughs> wolf pig. So, uh, oh, damn it, run, get the fuck out of there, man. We, we cannot deal with another one that was so close to after just fighting another one. Now this is just like a, a, a legitimate struggle for survival here. We just need to find a mate, like desperately. I feel like I'm I'm in the middle of like a, a planet Earth or like frozen planet documentary or something. Oh, I can see the bear killing a bunny over there. You could hear it like cry a little. Ah, ah. That's really depressing. Yeah, I feel like I'm a fucking polar bear in frozen planet. Like sadly navigating my way throughout the throughout the wilderness this guy's got weird little hands he's this zebra striped you better be a fucking oh god we're both males i thought that was a female symbol let me think this through that's female isn't it why was i getting males pregnant earlier i'm confused izmir nice to meet you buddy together we're gonna do great things oh uh maybe not though because you are very much at the end of your life cycle. So how about we just kill you off by by gathering some food? I can't believe I did that. Oh no! Ismir, I'm sorry! I'm sorry I wasted your life. Oh no. That was your only purpose. You're that's what you should be doing when you reach that age, right? Your 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 purpose in life will be to uh the, the propagation of your species, right? And so the best you could have done was just give your life for Anako. So thank you. We, uh, Anako and I deeply appreciate that sacrifice. I can still hear that fucking bear out there somewhere killing little rabbits. Why is there so much grass everywhere? It's making it fucking impossible to find anything. This is, oh, now I'm going to fucking start starving. I can't be harvesting from these cactuses anymore. They're, they're knocking away my, my health bar here. Like, and at a rate that does not feel particularly worth it. You can see at the bottom there, the red damage. That's like when my white bar meets up with that red one, I'm going to die. So if I keep taking more and more damage, it's just me shortening my lifespan. And I don't want to fuck around with that too much. But all I can find is these goddamn cactuses. Is it a one-turn starve? How, do, how does starvation work in this game? You're not going to... If I try to move as I am right now... Oh, fucking two. It gets you two fruits, at least. There's that. This better be a fucking... Oh, it's just a fucking cactus. Whatever that is, better be another one of whatever I am. Because otherwise, I am fucked. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes! Duke, Duke Roro. We need, to, we need to start knocking boots, like, immediately. There we go. Dukuroro, Dukuroro's preggers. That's good. That's good for us. Now where's uh? Oh, they're starving. Ooh, that's uh, that's not. Come on, man. You're gonna have to do a little bit of uh, sacrificial food harvesting here. I'm sorry, man. You're gonna die. That's just how it goes. Now we need to fucking start looking for a nest. Please be another one of our. Oh, why is there none of our species fucking anywhere? There's a rabbit there! Is that that little rabbit creature? Yes! Yes, perfect! Harvest its delicious organs to sustain yourself! Come on! Fuck! You better not run away on this next turn, you dumb little rabbit! I'm getting the hell out of whatever this deserty, barren grassland is. I'm going back to the nice, lush grassland where the, the plants don't fucking kill me while I'm trying to eat from them. Is that is very important to me right now. It's something that I value very highly. <laughs> I know it doesn't. I know it's not important to a lot of people, but it's it's something I personally am very uh, passionate about. I oh, we just gotta rest up another night then. Ugh, this is tense. I am just chaining together these these lost lonely critters. Holy shit! Wait, can I? Oh. Would you look at that? I should have guessed. I, well, I did. I did guess. As soon as I reached the, the cliff edge there, I was like, oh, 
I bet you you can rotate this shit around. The the simplicity of like the game board is really appealing to me. Oh fuck. That it's just like it is just like a grid of hexagons and there's you know only a certain number of things that you can you can come across. I'm really I'm really pumped about these rabbit these little Tinkerbell rabbit creatures. You know what I mean by Tinkerbelly. They're just kind of like I don't know, they're super cute, and look at me, my hideous fucking ghoul face, looking at this cute, tiny, itty-bitty creature. But anyways, I'm super pumped about the way that they're, they're practically just jumping on top of me. They just can't, just can't fucking wait to be eaten. Oh, no, I'm not on the... Oh, okay, there we go. I thought I was, like, not on the right level, and if I tried to move, it would just run away from me. Alright, that'll keep us going the tiniest bit longer, but things are looking pretty bleak here for... Uh, Duke Duck Row Row. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, I think, how it's supposed to be said. Fuck, yes, Lassie. Now we got Lassie. Who, who the hell, we're both the same, oh, we're, we aren't the same gender. This, I, I, okay, the reason I'm so confused, I'm struggling so much with this male female symbol, is I remember, uh, my buddy telling me that he would picture it. That, like, the male symbol is, like, the circle with the penis on it. And that if it tried to have sex with the circle with, like, the cross on it, that, like, the penis going into the... The, the penis-shaped one being the male one going into the female-shaped one, that it would just go in just fine. It's an arrow. But then if you took the female one, which is the cross, and you tried to plug that through the male one's hole, you would have, like, the X get in the way, and it'd be like, eh, eh, eh. So I've used that as a mnemonic for the last, like, five years, and apparently that's wrong? Or is this game fucking wrong? This is bothering the hell out of me. I'm... To, to hell with this. I'm looking this up because I don't believe this. Here I just googled male symbol. There it is guys. The penisy shaped symbol. The mnemonic makes sense. It's correct. It works. So that means Duke Roro is a boy and Lassie is a girl. So why the fuck? Why the fuck is Duke Roro pregnant? No, okay. Lassie is pregnant. The way that it was like I don't know, the way it was set up there was confusing for some reason. Everything makes sense, everything checks out. I'm mad about nothing, apparently. Okay, so now, food, step step one. There we go. Oh, fuck. All right. You, you go in search of a nest because, oh, God, I wasn't expecting the rabbit thing to run away from me. Oh, now we're both fucking starving. Starving and pregnant? This is a sad state of affairs here. You're going to have to sacrifice yourself, Duke Roro. It's another one of those situations. Great! One food is all you manage to get, you fucking useless piece of shit. Oh, fuck. Alright, well, time to just sleep and hope that more rabbits- Oh, fuck, that's not- That's not what I wanted. I wanted more rabbits, not a bear to just, like, hover float its way straight at me. Just cause, uh, I... guys, back off, I'm pregnant. I fucking- I- I'm- I'm an innocent little- little creature, just la leave me be. Uh, no, it's just guns straight for you, fuck. The the only the only logical thing is to jump off the cliff. Yes, yes, Van Curvan. <laughs> Van Curvan. I like that name. It's a pretty good name there. But uh, we fucking need food. Like immediately, you're kind of old too, Van Curvan. Both both of us need to just f hoof it down the cliff and hope that that big bulky bear can't do it no no fuck no that's not what i was trying to do oh the rabbit was right next to us what did i click no i fucked us this, that, that, that one little misclick fucked our entire species oh no no you're just trying to oh this is not this is not good oh, you're gonna die on like the next turn Holy shit, look at your... I just, uh, I noticed that before, but I was just extra noticing it now all of a sudden. Shit. We are fucked. Oh, wait. Can we live through the night here? Oh, you stay away from that. I'm harvesting that meat. You stay away, you big dumb bear monster. We're gonna go run along the coast here to possible safety with our one food... 
Oh, game over. Your species has gone extinct. Son of a bitch. I really thought we had it in us. Is it gonna have like a stat screen? I really hope it has a screen that breaks down everything. Ah, sh shit. That is not what I wanted. I wanted a nice, a nice breakdown of everything that had happened in that current playthrough. Look at that guy over there. He's got nice horns. None of my guys had horns or saber tooth or all my guys just had snaggle teeth and gimp arms. All right, right now you can see that this is version 0 0.06, and so this game is in early access. Oh, there's a little mole. I didn't find any mole man. A little mole man with antlers. He's cute. I like him. Why didn't I find any of him? But anyways, version 0 0.06. So this game is like pretty early development. Next update, October. That's a little bit vague, but I'm guessing that the updates will roll out with uh, quite a bit of new content. This game is pretty fucking fun. I... I'm super interested and like considering this is early access and how interesting it is so far and how like the balance between using food and hunting and like pregnancies and staying near nests and like avoiding carnivores and do you like do you harvest from the spiky plant or do you like just leave it because it's going to cause too much damage there is a lot of things that already need to be taken into consideration and this is like a very early stages early access game so i'm incredibly excited to see where this goes from here i think that's fucking sweet i might play more right away i might hold off until the october update this seems like it'll be a really fun game to keep coming back to as updates roll out i could compare that to like minecraft almost back when minecraft was uh you know something that was like pretty new i remember every time a big update rolled out it was lots of fun to come back and explore all the new things that came out so as next time guys because there will be a next time i'm for sure coming back to this game i'm gonna see if i can build a bit more of a family now that maybe i understand better how to how to weight my decisions that maybe i can build up a pack of like four or five without just starving everyone immediately because i definitely did that the first time but if you're at all interested in Niche, I'm sticking with Niche, a genetic survival game, you can check it out on Steam, available now. It's like 20 bucks. It was like 21 Canadian or something. I have no idea what that is in American dollars or any of that. So don't ask me. You guys can go figure it out for yourself. Check the link down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.